I do get a flu shot every year, just because I think it's a good preventive and they recommend it for, you know, older people. No, I don't get the flu shot because I'm not a big shot person. I don't get a yearly flu shot right now. I just, something I never really occurred to me to do. I only get sick maybe once, twice a year on a bad year. I just get them every year. The doctor says get them, so I get them. Hi, I'm Dr. Ron Payan. I'm a clinical professor of OBGYN at a Western University. I'd like to tell you a couple of things about the flu today, but more importantly about why you should get flu shots. All the information that I'm bringing to you right now is available for you to read in depth, and it comes from the Centers for Disease Control in Washington, D.C., our source of expertise and information. And after watching this, I really would like for you to consider getting a flu shot for your health. It's just much better for us if we do get the flu to just have it and get it over with. You know, a lot of people think that, well, the flu is the flu. Why do I need to do anything about it? Well, you don't want to be one of the people who get the flu, transmit it to others, but more importantly, have complications of the flu. Complications of the flu are much more severe and occur with much greater frequency than any problems associated with the vaccine. I don't get a yearly flu shot right now. I just, something I never really occurred to me to do. I only get sick maybe once, twice a year on a bad year. Um, so I just never thought to get one. It's very important for pregnant women to get a flu shot because two people have to be considered, the mother and the fetus. The fetus is susceptible to whatever it is the mom gets and you don't want necessarily to pass that along because there are potential problems. I'm a senior, should I get a flu shot? As one grows older, and I'm 80, my immune system may not be as active as that of a 40-year-old. Besides, I'm probably more prone to being susceptible to a variety of things, and it's very important for all seniors, let's just say people over 65, to get a flu shot every year. I can't stress the importance of talking to a doctor, talking to your nurse, and most importantly, read as much as you can about the flu. Don't take the advice of a neighbor. Can the flu shot give you the flu? The flu shot is made up of inactivated virus. Taking a flu shot may give you symptoms that pass quickly, but you can't get the flu from the flu shot. I'm pregnant. Can the flu vaccine cause developmental disorders like autism in children? You know, there's been a lot in the newspapers, on TV, about autism and vaccinations. I think that's pretty much been put to rest in some of the early papers that were reported in the varying journals have proven not to be correct. I have a healthy immune system. I don't have to worry about it. And I think it's important to let your body fight, fight its own battles sometimes. One of the things that's good for all of us to remember, it's not just us. We live in communities of people. And if we don't protect ourselves, we might be injuring others. Is the flu vaccine dangerous? Whatever age you are, you needn't worry about getting a flu shot because the incidence of the flu shot causing harm is remarkably low. An awful lot of people die of the flu each year that people don't really realize how many do. The reason you want to get a flu shot is the worst case, and that's very, very infrequent. And the worst case is having a bacterial infection because the viruses of the flu decrease your immunity to infection. Is there any treatment for the flu? There's symptomatic treatment for the flu, and it's not antibiotics. It's relief of symptoms. So if you have a fever, aspirin, or something equivalent. The most important thing is to stay in touch with physicians, nurses, your druggists. They're all great sources of information. The best source of information, Centers for Disease Control.